I'm Ariana Kaiser, and you're watching Weak Bite. North Korea has stepped up its rhetoric, threatening a nuclear fire shower if attacked by the U.S. One U.S. official responded, Aren't you adorable? Who's a big country? Who's a big country? You are! <laughs> President Obama is pushing the Senate to pass his new climate protection bill, already passed by the House. Republican senators are expected to fight the bill's passage, arguing that big government has no place in looking after the environment. Said one GOP spokesperson, We have every faith that private industry can and will come to the rescue of our troubled climate. He added, And the fees they charge for using it will be extremely reasonable. Farrah Fawcett's agent has announced that the former actress is refusing to participate in her own funeral. Funeral directors, in a desperate last-minute dash to replace her, have announced that they will instead bury her former Charlie's Angels replacement, Cheryl Ladd. When asked why she would agree to such a thing, Ladd replied, I'm just happy to be back in show business. When asked whether the company would refund the money paid by 750,000 concert goers to see Michael Jackson's planned summer tour, a representative of entertainment giant AEG patted himself down and said, Oh gosh, I don't think I have that much on me. Listen, take my watch, hang on to it. It's worth a lot. It's a Rolex. Uh, I'm going to go down to the ATM and uh, I'll get your money for you. And you know I'm good for it. And you know I'll be back for my watch. Convicted con artist Bernard Madoff has been ordered to give up all of his personal property, including real estate, investments, boats, and cars, as part of the $171 billion forfeiture judgment against him. Madoff's attorney argues the judgment unfair, stating, My client is going to be 221 years old when he gets out of prison. How the hell is he going to get along without a car? Emails have surfaced that document the longtime extramarital affair between embattled South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford and his Argentinian mistress. In one excerpt, Sanford writes, You have a particular grace and calm that I adore. You have a level of sophistication that is so fitting with your beauty. I could digress and say that you have the ability to give magnificent gentle kisses, or that I love your tan lines, or that I love the curve of your hips. The erotic beauty of you holding yourself, or two magnificent parts of yourself, in the faded glow of the night's light. God. Mark, stop it! Can't you see that she can't love you like I do? What is it? Is it me? Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> Turn it off. That's it for now. We'll see you next time on Week Bite.